Hello again everyone, so this time we will work on the animations and by the end of the video our player will know how to hit a forehand or a backhand depending on the ball position. So let's start first by creating the animations, so we go to window and bring up the animation window. Let's dock it a little bit down here, that's great. Then I want uh, by default to have the racket in a uh, forward position, so I will modify its position first. That seems about okay. Good. Let's click on our player and create an animation. Let's call this forehand. And then let's click on record, click on the rocket, and move it just a little bit so we record a keyframe. Then we go to something like 20 the 20th frame and rotate this then bring it up here wait and then let's visualize so he will do something like that then um, to about uh, 40 frame he will hit so he will go back to the initial position he will do that and that or we could just copy and paste this one yeah we will do that instead so copy control c go here and control v and for some reason this is not perfectly aligned so i will fix it that seems better great so let's visualize this good let's remove the um, looping he will prepare and hit but I want the hitting to be a little bit faster so that's good let's delete the first one because we made a mistake and now it should be fine great perfect um, yeah that's about nice let's create also the backhand animation so click on that forehand one and create new clip Let's name this backhand. Same thing. <coughs> Record. Do that. Oops. <coughs> I shouldn't have done that. I should have moved it a little bit first. Go to 20 and rotate. Nice. Then something like 40 and copy paste. And again, for some reason, it's not fully rotated. So uh, let's fix that. Delete this one and that one. And copy, paste. Visualize. Yeah. Nice. Good. <coughs> so those are our two animations. And if you go to Window Animator, this is the animator window, so we click on the player. We see that we have two animations, and uh, by default, um, they will be looping. So we double click on both of them, remove the loop time, and this uh, orange one means that the forehand will be um, the entry animation. So when we start the game, uh, he will play forehand, which, which is not what we want. So we uh, right button click mouse then create state and empty so this is just an idle state and uh, we can name this idle we don't care and the forehand will transition to this also the backhand and our idle will be the default layer state so that should work great um, now let's go back to our Visual Studio and uh, script this. Um, okay, so we are at Visual Studio and uh, we need a reference to our animator first. So we just go um, animator called animator with a lowercase a and in the void start we will do animator equals get component 
animator. So this will uh, give us a reference to our current animator. And then uh, we will use that to click an animation. So for example, uh, where do we hit our ball? Okay, right here in the trigger, when we um, shoot the ball, we will say animator dot play. And let's start by the forehand, for example, just to um, try this. Go back to Unity and let's try to play. And let's actually maximize this so we can see better. Okay. Yeah, it kind of worked a little bit late. Yeah, we will fix that later. <laughs> okay, great. Um, let's go back to our player. And I don't like this, it's way too slow. So he will prepare way faster now. And hit faster. Same for the backhand. Prepare faster and hit faster. Let's try again. Yeah, that's not the best, but it's not bad. But now we can only hit four hands. Of course, you can play with the animations as much as you want. You can make uh, better animations. So let's now uh, try to detect whether our ball is on the right or the left side of our player. So we play the forehand or the backhand one. And that's pretty simple. So uh, right here, um, just as, as we hit, we will detect whether we have a uh, the ball uh, we will actually uh, try to get the direction of the ball. So if the direction and uh, We already have that so if our direction vector that we used earlier But now uh, we uh, to our ball not to our aim target So this will be the direction vector first and if that uh, Ball is actually on the right. What does that mean? if you go to the scene view we notice that our x axis actually let's do that our x axis is the uh, horizontal one perfect so if our x axis is the, is the horizontal and our ball is on our right and we remember that uh, uh, the way to get the direction is to subtract the target position minus our uh, transform dot position so if the ball is on our right again and we subtract its position from ours, what will we get, a positive or a negative on the x? Of course it will be positive, because imagine that the ball has a position in the x of uh, 5, and we are something like 3, so 5 minus 3 will be 2. Uh, that's positive, so we will detect the x of the direction. I don't know if you understood, but I will demonstrate this. So let's go back to 3, uh, not 2 ball there equals and we will need a reference to our ball so let's make a public transform let's call this ball and you will assign a layer so ball there equals ball dot um, position minus our transform dot position so this is the direction from our ball to our position um, and we will test if uh, the x of this vector, so if ball gear dot x is positive, then we will play the forehand animation. If not, it has to be negative, there are no other ways, and we will play the backhand one. So let's test this out. I hope this works. <laughs> okay. Um, wait for it to compile. Let's not forget to assign the ball and play. Okay, so if I do that, it's a forehand. And if I do that, it's a backhand. So that works. That was a fail. <laughs> Great. And just for you to see the uh, actually result in action. I will try to debug uh, some uh, debug.log to know where we are located exactly. So 
let's do debug.log backhand and forehand for the, this, this one Okay, let's minimize this. Actually, let's uh, better than debugging. I will in the update just for you just to th see this better. Don't need the animations, and um, we will uh, do debug dot draw um, ray transform that position and uh, boldir don't have to write this just uh, for demonstration purposes um, so in the update we will um, draw a array from our position to our ball and let's enable the gizmos first as you can see there's a small line uh, between our ball and uh, our position so if we move it moves okay great and you also see that uh, here there's a um, debug.log saying whether it's backhand or forehand and if we go have the ball on our right it will be um, let's actually collapse this notice that it's forehand now and if you go there it's backhand i hope this is clear enough so that works um, that's all for, our th for this video and uh, next time we will uh, make the bot and tell me in the comments what else you want me to do. Maybe I will make a video of it. So I will first clear this code that we don't need. And remove the debug.log. Thank you for watching.